Thank you. Welcome. Good evening, uh, Mayor Tate, Council Members. Thank you for allowing us to speak today. My name is Jen Kruma. I'm President of Animal Defenders International. And I'm here to say to you that this is the beginning of a conversation. This is not the end of a campaign, it's the opening of a campaign. We are here now, we're here to converse with each of you and to provide you with the kind of evidence that you need to make the decision that balances the needs of the economy with the needs to, to protect animals. Animal Defenders International has worked in over 20 countries around the world. We have bans in uh, Greece, Bolivia, the UK government is discussing a ban at the moment. We have uh, 20 countries with national bans on the use of animals in circuses. There are 34 bans on the use of wild animals in circuses in the United States. There are hundreds of bans on the use of wild animals in circuses in countries all over the world, in Europe. In my country, in Great Britain, we have over 200 local bans on the use of wild animals in traveling circuses. These people haven't looked at the evidence. They can see what happens to the animals. With the best will in the world and with due respect to the lady who just spoke to you, the fact is that given those circumstances of a traveling circus, you cannot possibly provide those animals with the kind of facilities and space that they need to keep them healthy and happy, even with the best willing world. And certainly the abuse that I have personally witnessed and our investigators have witnessed, that goes on behind the scenes. It doesn't go on in front of normal workers or other people caring for the animals necessarily. What I would like to say to you as a, a, a legislative body is that we do care about the economy too. We understand the issues that uh, face you. And what we can say to you is that um, removing wild animals from circuses doesn't lose any jobs. We have found everywhere that if you replace the wild animals in circuses, you get other shows. Circuses can transfer perfectly, happily, and actually make a lot of money with new shows, human acts, with all kinds of other different performances. It is not necessarily the case that removing wild animals, which after all are only a few minutes of a two-hour show, it's not the case that that will lose jobs. It most certainly won't lose jobs, and, it, and um, the countries that I'm talking about um, have economic problems too but they have still made the decision to end the use of wild animals in traveling circuses. Thank you. Thank you.